In this video, we're going to try and work out the derivative of tan of x. Um, we've already seen that when you differentiate sine of x, you get cos of x. When you differentiate cos of x, you get minus sine of x. We've seen these two. Um, in this video, we're going to try and work out the uh, derivative of tan of x. So we're going to try and work this out. Okay. Uh, remember that tan of x. Uh, remember that tan of x equals uh, sine of x over cos of x. I've asked you several times to memorize this. This has to be ingrained in your mind. Okay. And if you ever forget, then then tr then uh, create yourself a circle of radius one. Well, this angle here is uh, is x here. Uh, remember, tan is opposite over adjacent, so meaning that the the height the height here. Uh, hang on. The height here is uh, is sine of x. The across here is cos of x. So tan of x is sine of x over cos of x. Um, yeah, try and memorize this. Okay. Um, so so at the moment you've got you've got tan of x equals this thing here. So at the moment you've got you can imagine when, whenever you have one bubble equals another bubble here. Whenever you have an equation where one side equals another side, you can add equally to both sides. You can take away equally from both sides. You can times equally to both sides. You can divide equally to both sides. Well, now you can also take the derivative equally to both sides. So you, you are allowed to do this here. So so uh, so given given that this at the moment this equals this here, you're actually allowed to do this. You're you're actually allowed to do this. The uh, you, you can take the derivative on the left hand side and then take the derivative on the right hand side so you are actually allowed to do this so sine of x over cos of x okay so this is what we're trying to understand here but rather than trying to figure this out here we're going to try and figure this out okay so fi so so for finding the derivative of tan of x is like you finding the derivative of this Okay, so so rather than uh, rather than oh, okay, but but visualize this bit here as this. Visualize visualize uh, visualize this bit here as this here. Okay, so so rewrite rewrite this thing here as uh, as sine of x uh, times cos of x to the power of minus one. Okay, now. By the way, you you could use the um, the quotient rule to to work out the derivative of this, but turn it into turn it into to the power of minus one, and then we can use the uh, the product rule. It's easier to use a product rule than it is to use a quotient rule. So so we, so our aim is to try and un understand this, but rather than rather than trying to work this out, we are going to work this out. But uh, but we're going to rather than using the quotient rule. We're going to turn it into to the power of minus one and use a product rule. So, so in short, we are going to try and work out the derivative of this. Okay. So, so now we've got a product rule: one thing multiplying another thing. Okay. So, so to differentiate this here, use a product rule. First, differentiate this. Leave this the same. So, so this here equals. Hang on, equals. So remember, differentiate this and then leave this the same. So that would be. Uh, cos of x, and then leave that the same. So cos of x uh, to the power of minus one, and then uh, and then plus now plus now keep this the same, which is uh, sine of x, and then uh, and then differentiate this, which which will be um, which will be hang on, uh, which will be um, minus times uh, hang on. Times minus one, uh, hang on, let me think. Times minus one, uh, cos of x, uh, to the power of minus two, and then, uh, uh, uh yeah, and then, and then we've got to times the, uh, the bubble itself here. So that would be, uh, 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 that would be minus, that would be minus sine of x. Okay. Um, so yeah, so so here you've got one thing multiplying another thing here. Uh, but th this here is really a combination of the um, to to differentiate this here. You have to use a combination of the chain rule and the product rule because here you've got you've got a function within a function. So this bit here is is uh, is me using the chain rule here. Okay. So so now tidy this up. So at the moment you've got you've got this block multiplying with this block here. So that then becomes this. 
that then becomes this. Okay, so hang on. So this bit here, so so you you, you can visualize this bit here as as a, a cos of x multiplying with one over cos of uh, cos of x. So this bit here times in this bit here, this gets multiplied to the top. That's why you've got you've got uh, uh, cos of x over cos of x. Okay, and then looking at this bit here, um, looking at this bit here, you've got uh, here you've got one block multiplying with uh, another block here, multiplying with this block here. They're all multiplying with each other here. So we we can merge this and this together. That will give us positive um, sine of x. And then sine of x, you merge this one with this one here. That will in effect will be a positive uh, sine squared. Sine, sorry, that would be positive um, sine x squared. So that would be this, okay? And then, and th so, so hang on. So this, so if, if you merge these three together, you will, you will have sine, uh, in a way, yeah, sine, sine squared of x here. And then, and then looking at this block here, you will have, um, you will have, uh, one over cos squared of x. So, so remember this minus two here is, is really like this cos of x uh, squared okay well anyway um, if, if you if you tidy up this whole thing here if you tidy it up it will look it will look like this okay it will look like this so so now we are at this stage here so um, so now we, we want to merge these two fractions together so now times top and bottom here by uh, by cos of x so times top and bottom by cos of x so that will give you this plus this. Now that the two denominators are the same, we can merge them together. So when you merge them together, it will become this here. So common denominator, common denominator, we can merge these two together. Now this thing here, remember um, the other thing, uh, re remember that whenever you have cos squared of x plus sine squared squared of x, it equals 1. Um, and, and, and again, I've asked you to memorize this, to ingrain this in your mind. Okay. So this bit here is really one. So, so it will then become one over, uh, cos, uh, cos squared of x. Okay. So, so the derivative of tan, tan of x here is this thing here. So overall, um, the derivative of tan of x is this thing here. Okay.